Anna, what's up? What's up? So, okay. So, let's keep going. Okay. Picking up after last time. Sophomore season ends with disappointment, right? Yeah. You go further in the tournament than most expected, but you don't win the title. Yeah, I mean, at that time, it was a lot of disappointment. But looking back, Anna, if I'm being honest, we weren't ready. And I definitely wasn't ready to lead this team where we were capable of going. Okay, but then how do you get from that point to the point where you're able to lead the team to reach their full potential? Well, <laughs> I mean, we, we weren't going to pop out on anybody. Like, we, we, there was no sneaking up. We weren't going to do nothing. Yeah. Um, but we did have a good team, and we were better than the team we had last year. We just hadn't been tested yet. Until you were tested. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, we were up against the number three team in the nation, and uh, that was led by Dion Wright. <sighs> that boy Dion Wright, man, I tell you, he was one of the top scorers in college basketball around that time. And that's a big, big test. Yes, yeah, big test. So when you're facing a team or a person like that, is there extra motivation? When you're going up against somebody as skilled as that, uh, it's never just one person. Right. Uh, I mean, the whole team has to come ready to play, and I try my best to set the tone from jump, but you're never going to stop a guy as talented as that one-on-one. -on -one. You know, mm. uh, thankfully, those kind of challenges help mold the team to be the best versions of themselves. So, you know, I always look forward to going up against the best of the best. So, you know? <laughs> what you're saying, basically, it sounds like in this game, you did find that extra motivation. Yeah, no, I, I definitely did. Um, that's definitely what I'm saying. It's just not exactly why I expected it. Right. I mean, they're still calling this a group project, and I'm the only one doing any of the work. It's not fair. Should I say something to the professor, or...? <sighs> yes! You're gonna do... Hey, let's go. What's up, man? You better be balling tonight. Hey, Finn loose. How you doing? Good, Good man. man. Look, you set the tone. 
All right, everybody in here gonna be taking their cues from you. Hey, that's good, man. Because every time Dion turns around, one of us gonna be there. That was right. Yeah. All right, right then. You all right? I'm good. You know me. I'm good. I get it. You good, man? Get in the zone. Cause tonight gonna be a good one. Hello, everybody. I'm Forrest Hunt, and this is the College Championship Tournament. Here, along with my partners Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, we're thrilled to bring you this semifinal action tonight. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the North Carolina Tar Heels going up against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And for MP and this team, a return to the semifinals. Came up short a year ago, but they are certainly a different team this time around. Evans outside, right outside. There's a screen. Pass to Montgomery. And it's North Carolina with the rebound. And as you said, MP and the crew make their second straight semifinals. And they've learned from their previous trip for sure. Didn't lose many kids over the past year. And, and the team has played with more maturity. You see it in their approach and execution. And drawing first blood, you know coach likes that momentum out of the gate. Yeah, I agree with you there because to me it's just much more comforting to play from the front than to be battling from behind. Now here's right for three. Richards grabs the miss. Boy, just by his body language, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, it seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. And for MP and actually the rest of the team, too, we've seen marked improvement from them over the year. And they started playing their best ball right before the tournament. Took a bit to gel, but they've come together nicely. Wow, look at how quick he flashes to the rim there for the finish. Now Neely. Pass to right. And he makes that one. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. And here's MP. And fouled hard that time, and he'll get two shots at the line. And for MP and this team, you guys, they come in as the three seed. A nice run through their region so far. And we knew they'd be a dangerous three seed. A lot of people thought they deserved to be the two in that region, but it doesn't matter now here in the semifinals. And for MP and their defense, you know they'll be keyed in on stopping right. That's easier said than done. And Texas Tech is back in the national semifinal. Their first trip, 2019. Yeah, just three years ago. I mean, we are in the golden age of Red Raiders hoops. The fans in Lubbock are really enjoying this one. Here's MP. And a great assist by Thompson as that one goes in. And right, the dominant scorer in college hoops. It's an almost impossible task to slow him down, guys. I think a lot of it when you're defending right is just trying to make him work to get his shot. You got to communicate well and then be ready to switch when you can. But even then, once right gets going, he's hard to stop. North Carolina leading. Pass to Mayo. It's MP on the wing. They get the rebound. Goes back up. And that one drops. Number zero. Now here's Neely. Pass to Evans. Now right. Richards grabs the miss. Look, over the years, UNC has had a number of great NBA exports. You know, playing at that high level in that kind of program is something of a proving ground and prepares guys for the next level for those who think they have a chance to get there. Here's Mayo. 
Here's Richards from 13. MP can't get that one to fall. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Mayo. MP outside. The three is up. That doesn't go either for MP. Texas Tech trailing here. Evans with the ball. Outside, Neely. And he's going for the alley-oop. And they get in the way. Looked like they were going for the alley-oop. Not to be. And North Carolina has possession. Here's MP. Good. Score the basket. Markham four for eight, shooting 50% so far. Now Neely. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Montgomery. To the inside, Evans. And it's Evans finishing it off. And for Texas Tech, two recent first round picks, a welcome sign in Lubbock. Zaire Smith, the 16th overall pick in 2018. Derek Holver going sixth in 2019. Before those two, just one Red Raider had ever gone in the first round. MP, no good. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Outside, Neely. Down low. And the basket by Montgomery. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. North Carolina calls timeout. In for the lineup for Texas Tech, substitutions for the Tar Heels. Texas Tech with the ball, trailing by four. Livingston on the wing. Back to right. Pass to Rogers. Right. Here's Montgomery. Richards grabs the miss. UNC making a quick return to the semifinals here after successfully pulling off back-to-back -back appearances in 2016 and 17. Now here's MP. Nine points in the game. This time for three. Rebound Texas Tech. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Pass to Livingston. The shot, no good. Now the Tar Heels take it the other way. And here's MP for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Now here's Livingston. Back to Rodgers. Right, outside. Holland. Right, outside. Fires the three. Sharp grabs the miss. And here's MP. 12 points for him. D that time from right. And we've reached halftime in this one. Tar Heels out front, leading by seven. 17, the Tar Heels, 24. And so that brings the first half to a close. And what do you make of the performance we saw from MP in the first half? Well, I, I like the way he contributed on the glass, not content to spectate. Yeah, you know, he got in there and got his hands dirty, helped out his big men. And when you're gang rebounding like that, the team is much more consistent closing out stops. When you talk about Texas Tech, this is a school that loves their teams. Name a sport, be it football, basketball, baseball. 
These teams get phenomenal support. And it's the Red Raiders ball. It's a 10-point game. Now here's Neely. Pass to Montgomery. Back to Neely. Evans. Bucket four. 13 feet out. Another shot. The shot by Montgomery, no good. MP outside. And he uses the glass on the layup. And Texas Tech, just a big sports school in general, you guys. The Red Raiders students are just rabid fans, setting a conference record for most students at a basketball game. Tech is a fun place to play. Now here's Wright. And it's going to be two free throws, drawing the contact on the shot. Always fun to see perennial contenders like UNC in action. Some schools just have that distinction, right? I mean, they're always in the conversation and seem to excel under the brightest lights of college ball. The Tar Heels on offense. MP outside. And the Tar Heels, another three. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Here's Evans. Right outside. Pass to Neely. Here's Butler. And it's good for two. Great unspoken communication between teammates leading to the nice assist and the easy score. And P with it. The wide open look. Rebounded by Montgomery. Right outside. Pass to Evans. Neely with it. The 15 footer. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim to the paint. Here's MP. And North Carolina again with the bucket. And you watch MP now versus his freshman year. You can see how he's matured as a player. Much more aware of game situations. Pass to Montgomery. Now here is Evans. Up top, right from deep. And again, it's Texas Tech with the three. And when talking about MP's growth, he stepped into and relished the leadership role. And you know, not every kid in college can handle the mantle of being a leader. MP showed early on that he was comfortable being a leader. This team has overachieved with him guiding the way. Now here's Wright. Nine points in the game. Pass to Montgomery. And the ball out of play. The Tar Heels will have it. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. Outside Sanders. MP outside. And he lays it straight in. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Here's Nixon. Here's Holland. Second chance shot. And MP with the block. Now Sanders. Pass to MP. Inside. Outside Sanders, MP. Got it, good job in the low post. And, and really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 
And here's Sanders. From outside the arc. And the Tar Heels, another three. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Greg, I can't identify an area where this team has underperformed. I mean, they've been five-star in every category. And they'll keep possession. Holland, no good. And stolen by Holland. Deflects the pass. Pass to Livingston. Here's Nixon. To the middle. It's rebounded by Beasley. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Outside, Rodgers. Holland. Texas Tech again missing. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, big time. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all would apply. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. On the wing, Holland. Neely a screen. Looking to end the run. Tar Heels with the rebound. Now here's MP. Soft touch off the glass. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Now a timeout called by Texas Tech. So it's both teams making substitutions here. They're really on the back foot at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor. They've lost some confidence along the way. Pulls up from 12. Neely no good. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Exactly. But at the other end, it's one bucket after the other. This run is getting out of hand right now. Now here's MP. And slam dunk by MP. Zero. Here's Evans. Pass to Montgomery. Right. Here's Butler. Over Thompson. And once again, off the mark by Texas Tech. MP outside. Thompson outside. Pass to Mayo. Now MP. They set the screen. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at five. Shoots the three. Kept alive. Here's right. You look at the draft prospects of Deion Wright, I think he's going to be a high lottery pick, most likely in the top five. Here's Butler. Pass to Montgomery. Right for three. Shot to end the cold run. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. And In for your Red Raiders, substitution for the targets. Right outside. And right with the stop. An extremely efficient and productive game for him, but again, he's not going to be able to do it all by himself. And here's MP from beyond the arc. No good there. And Texas Tech will come the other way. Steps back. Here's right. Banked in off the glass. 
a little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. They double him with Holland. And a bit of a battle for the ball and the official signal a jump ball here. The North Carolina Tar Heels will move on. Wow. Wow. Everybody hanging on the edge of their seats. But they had the grit to pull through when it counted. And my goodness, I am spent. Felt like I played that game. What a game. And what a big moment it has to be for MP. The junior has meant everything to the school and now has them one win away from a collegiate championship. That's it for us tonight. For myself, Boris Hunt, and our crew of Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, we'll see you here for the championship game. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. I have to say, it was very impressive that you were Ooh. still able to go out and play at that level. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, leadership isn't just about what you say, you know. That's really the tiniest part of it. You know, people need to see what you're willing to do and not do it, Hannah. Um, and they would definitely base their decisions off that, seeing, you know, your choice that you make. Or the ones you don't make. Exactly. I mean, right. exactly. I mean, you can't ask guys to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. They're not going to respect you, you know. So what I'm trying to do is push my teammates to do more to be more and to be, you know, play up to their fullest potentials. And I think our priorities lined up, uh, is lined up for the most part. Um, but you can't just be a leader when it's easy. And that wasn't easy. Man. Anna, <laughs> man, <laughs> that thing was probably the hardest thing of my life to date, but I had to go through it. Right, so now I know that you and Mila, mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm guessing there's another chapter. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so you D up on Dion, uh -huh. prove yourself. Uh -huh. End of the season, you're going into the tournament as a three seed. Three seed? I could have sworn it was a four seed. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you sure? You, <laughs> you didn't face the one seed until you're messing with me. Yeah, yeah? no, I, but, I, but I see you've been watching some ball. <laughs> I watched a few clips just to contextualize your stories, uh -huh. but... That second round game mm. where you got the and one just uh -huh. before the halftime buzzer? Are we talking basketball or are we talking about leadership? Uh, leadership. Okay, uh, <laughs> how about this? Next time we sit down, I'll fill you in on Mila. I wonder if she maybe can join us as well? You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. And then, you know, once we're done, you know, I'll talk to you about Mila and go over some clips with you. You know, for professional reasons, of course. Of course, professional <laughs> reasons. Well, I really, really look forward to it. 